So I created a one acre destination food source. And doing this, I've learned a lot of lessons along the way. But in this video, you're going to get to see one of the things that I learned that is something that I'm going to have to work towards in the future. Hello everybody, this is Nathan Nelson with Stillwater Outdoors. In this video, I wanna talk a little bit about one of the problems that I dealt with in the process of creating my one acre destination food source. So I'm gonna take you out to my food plot here right now and explain what is going on. All right, so today I'm out on the property and gonna be doing a big project. I've got all these trees, as you can see along behind me here, that are rimming the edge of my food plot. And what we did was, is we had a dozer come in, clear out this food plot. So there's a lot of trees that got shoved off to the side over here. Now I've been waiting for a little bit of time here to get in and do this. Uh, partly because I wanted the rain to kind of wash off some of the dirt that would be on the trees, uh, just prevent my blade from getting dull. And then it was also just a time thing. I had a lot of other projects that I needed to get to first. So I've had a food plot going here this last year, and it was okay. But one thing that I've noticed is that I haven't had as much buck activity in this food plot as I would have liked. And I was recently watching a, uh, a habitat video by Jeff Sturgis, uh, White Hill Habitat Solutions. And he made a very good point. He said, you need to make sure you get these trees cut up away from the edge of your food plot. He believes mature bucks will rarely step out into a food plot if they feel like they're trapped. And that is exactly the problem that I have here with this food plot. I have an entire edge, all this lengthways of the food plot, the longest part of it is completely barricaded with trees. So if you're planning to get your food plot dozed out or cleared out, this is kind of a little bit of what you can expect. It'll look like along the edge. Now you can see my food plot out there, it's nice and flat, but right over here, man, it is just thick and nasty. Um, and it's all, I mean, the height of it is some spots upwards of five, six, seven feet tall. So it gives a nice visual barrier, but for the deer, it makes them definitely feel like they're trapped. So, I mean, we're talking, I'm standing back in the woods, probably 15 yards, 10 to 15 yards off of the food plot, which is just right back up over here. And as you can see, there is no entrance hardly, unless they want to jump over a bunch of trees for them to be able to get in and out of this area. So uh, I, I honestly think that there's some, there's some validity to what he was saying is that the bucks just don't really want to come into a food plot when there's all this big barricades along the side. So my project for today is to get these things, get some openings in here because this is gonna be, this is gonna be a big project. I've got a lot of wood. I'm gonna turn it into firewood. And so I'm just going to kind of open up a few pockets here and there just to first of all let the deer have some entrances and exits into this food plot. And then I'll slowly expand those over time as I continue cutting on this food plot. I'm going to get after it here and start uh, cutting some trees. <laughs> Well, uh, I've got one opening done. Woo! And I only got the snowmobile stuck once. <laughs> so, one down, 5,000 more to go. Learned a valuable lesson. Don't go off the trail. Yeah, especially with a load of wood on the back. So as you can see, I've got a lot of work ahead of me trying to get these trees cleared from the edges of my food plot. But I definitely think that it's gonna be 
uh, an important step for me to take in creating the best possible food source that I can for the deer. I know that Grant Woods also talks about how it's important to get the brush piles and the piles of trees removed or burned simply because that's a place that predators could hide. And uh, you know, as a deer is entering into the food plot, if, if, a, if a coyote or, or a wolf or a bear or something is hiding behind that, that pile of debris and they have the wind advantage, they might be able to get really close to a deer and potentially be able to kill a fawn or be able to kill uh, just any size deer, to be quite honest. That's one other big advantage as to why you should get these edges of the food plot cleared out. I know that for my property, I, I don't see an issue with having some piles of debris along the way, but the situation that I have right now where the trees are going and spanning all the way across the entire length of the food plot, I think that that's really hindering uh, the potential of deer use in my food plot. So I really want to get that cleared out, get those trees, all of them removed. I still have quite a bit of work ahead of me to get all of that done. But so far this winter, uh, I already have a good chunk of those trees along the, the northern edge of my food plot removed. So I'll have to get to the, the south side and as well as the, the west side of the food plot and get those trees cleared here at some point. But I'm still waiting for the snow to melt. To get at those. So in the meantime, I'm just going to keep picking away at it. And so I'm excited to see how this might impact the hunting this next year. Getting these trees pulled out of there, getting some openings so that they can they can go in and out of the food plot wherever they need to get out. I, th I think it's going to really help. And I'd encourage you guys, if you're going to uh, create a food plot in the woods, make sure that you include this as part of your plan cutting the trees that you put down on the ground. Don't just shove them off to the side and let them pile up and become an area that uh, uh, is a hazard or, or something that prevents the deer from utilizing this food plot that you put a ton of work into. Take that final step, do it right, and you're gonna have an exciting food plot to hunt over this next fall. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel.